Hello. I am, I would figured that I would go through my sock project bag that has the finished rainbow socks for my sister and put everything away. And I figured while I was doing that, that it would be fun to do a stash tour of my stash. Um, <clears throat> so here are those finished socks. I will add them to my to be washed stack so that way I can get them washed and then I will put them in her gift to wrap. Because I did get her a couple of other things and I will not wrap that until the last minute because I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can get one more pair of socks done. But I will add these to that bag or basket. <clears throat> um, I actually have quite a bit of socks I need to put up. But in my sock bag here, I've got two sets of the Chiagu. They are the two millimeter, so a US size zero. There's the um, 40 inch cable. And then in the back, I also have my nine inch cables on each of those. So I basically just need one of these to finish a sock. I use the nine inch for everything but the toe. Um, I had thought I was gonna do like cast one, both on simultaneously, but I ended up not doing that. But it's nice to keep these together. So I will put those away. I've also got my red shorty set in here. Um, so it's got some notions in here. My needle gauge, this is why it stays in here is because I've got my darning, or yeah, darning needle or whatever that's called. And some extra stitch markers and the light bulb markers and then just whatever comes in that. So that needs to be put up. Also have my big set of light bulb stitch markers. I keep a paper towel on the top because when I first got it, my daughter would pick it up and shake it and it would mix all of the colors and it drove me nuts. So that paper towel helps them from mixing together. So every now and then they'll get mixed up, but that helps a lot. <clears throat> then the last thing in here is all of my leftovers and that's literally all I had left. So I think I did pretty good. And that is my empty project bag. And this is one of those knot bags, or I think it's called a Japanese knot bag. I love it. Um, got it from DMH Fiber last year after Christmas on sale. Um, and I, and then on Christmas season, I reverse it because it's reversible. So it works for both. It's Christmas season, so we will put it back out to the other side. And I will maybe put something else in there. Maybe I'll have Megan, my sister. She, you can comment below which color socks you would, or which colorway in this stash we go through that you would like for socks. And I can add it to that and see if I can get it done. I also have this little makeup bag my mom made, or she made it as a makeup bag big enough to be a project bag so that's what it's gonna be for me because I don't wear makeup what else is on here my dogs may come in my daughter may come in I didn't shut the door it's fine figure y'all like those interactions um this is a project I have not worked on in a while it's in my Arkansas yarn co or no Arkansas yarn crawl bag this is my like a cloud card again Oh, and I need to pull out, got this neck light I got a few years ago from my mother-in-law. And since it is dark on our way home now, because it gets dark at five o'clock, I need to add that or throw that in the car so I can knit on the way home without having to turn the big overhead light on. But here is my like a cloud cardigan and I have made no progress in like a month or longer trying to get that fascination shawl done and then this will be my top priority and I'm excited to get that one done I've got the sleeves done already just literally have to get done the body and it won't take me long because it's an easy mindless knit <clears throat> um, and that's out of ruby and roses yarn driftwood and common ground so that's that and these just sit on top of my little yarn holder yarn 
don't know, cab, I don't know what you'd call it. In this bag, um, I've got some yarn to knit the Salem sweater by Dragon Horde Designs, um, Tristan Molina. And I showed this off in my first podcast thinking out of time to knit it. And I have, since then I got that sample knit from Addison and have not even touched it. So it's still skeined up. These are what I'm going to hold together for that. When I'm done with the Like a Cloud, this is what's getting cast on next. So I've got three skeins of each of those. And I did dye this one up myself. It's a brown speckle. I used the teddy bear brown. And then I think I did maybe a light base of the sand dune or maybe speckled it. I don't, I don't remember. It was a while ago. And I don't think I wrote it down. And then this mohair is a bronze oopsie from Suburban Stitcher. I bought a while back and her oopsie was on sale. So it was great price. So that's all it's sitting. I think, yep, it's literally just the yarn. All right there. Sitting in this bag, just waiting to be cast on, taunting me. I've been wanting to knit that sweater for the longest time. So let me put all that up. And then, so that's part of my stash. Hopefully it won't be in stash much longer because it does have a plan. So in this, <clears throat> let me see if I can pick you up and move you on my tripod. This is what I keep all of my yarn stash in. It is, came from my great grandmother. So she crocheted blankets from what I remember. She passed away when I was in middle school. And my grandmother had this and she asked if I would like to have it. And I said, of course. So I, she brought it home and funny thing it still had some of my great grandmother's yarn and crochet needles and I think I've got the little um, bag she kept her crochet needles in and those crochet needles oh they were just metal like the ones you could get from Walmart so they weren't like super sentimental but the bag and this um I don't even know what you'd call this chest are definitely the sentimental part so inside is where I keep all of my stash. Here's one more project bag. This is one that my sister made for me. Um, this is the Daisy Stitch Co. sock that I had cast on a while back. And I had done part of the cuff. Well, I ripped the needles out of it. I will probably end up frogging this and starting over at some point. Um, that's what's sitting in this bag. It's just empty waiting to be done because I had, I wanted that yarn for myself. My sister wouldn't get in that one. So, sorry, Megan, you can't have that one. Hers were top priority. On top here, oh look, there's another empty project bag. I don't have many, that's about it. A lot of them are sock size. Oh yeah, that will be perfect sock size. Um, so on top here, these are some colors I had thought about knitting Megan's sock out of. These are all out of yarns I've dyed. <clears throat> this is the sand dune, the mauve in the middle, antique mauve and the teddy bear brown. And all of these were used in the slipping tiles shawl I knit by Stephen West. And I actually was wearing it today. If you saw in the little clip of me work or knitting at work during lunch. Um, so I've got all of these. I thought about striping two of these kind of like I did her rainbow socks or either one of these with the mauve was what she liked. But I may just do a vanilla sock since she's already got stripey socks. But they will probably become some sort of sock in the future. This is actually one of the first skeins I dyed. I used the fire truck red, the brilliant blue, and the black, and I kind of just speckled it in, and some of it um, bled, but I like, like, you can see those blue speckles. 
come through. The black speckles were fun to play with because they broke into like the red and blue speckles. I don't know if I have any spots where like right in here you can see a little breaking the lighting. Actually, you're not gonna see it with the lighting being so bad in here because it's super dark out. That was another thing or color way that I had dyed that I thought about knitting up as socks for my sister for Christmas. So there's an option for you, Megan. Um, I've got my interchangeable ginger prides or knitter pride ginger set. And I've got all my spare needles and cords laying in here. So this is where I need to add in those two pairs of sock needles. Um, so those are all my metal. I've come to like the metal more than the wooden, but the wooden, this wooden set was, I mean, it was 80 bucks. You can't, you've got to have an interchangeable set. I'd love to get the Chow Goo interchangeable set. That's bigger, but I just don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, next in here is, um, sorry for the crinkling. It's a set sweater quantity of golden hour right here, which is what I'm using in the contrast color for the fascination shawl and twilight. <clears throat> and this will become the long summer cardigan by Hohi Locatelli in the future with this as the main color and this as the contrast color. So I'm super excited to start that. Um, that will be after the Salem sweater. So that is from Addison of Ruby and Rose's Yarn. Actually, that was upside down. There you go. You can see her label. That. <clears throat> I've got some self-striping mustache yarn. Megan, you can't have this one. Um, this is the Shell Seekers. I'm excited to make that for a pair for my pair of socks for myself. Let's see. Talk about this in a minute. Let's pull everything else out. These are all the leftovers from my shawlography. So it's 100% merino wool. So these I would not do as socks but I could do as a cowl or a shawl. I've got some more 100% merino wool. So I could also do like a color work sweater or striped sweater. So yeah, I haven't quite thought about that. I'll get to that eventually, but I love those colors. And I also dyed those myself. I've got two other skeins of Ruby and Rose's yarn and all of her yarn I've actually gotten as payment from sample knits I've done for her. So the, um, like a cloud cardigan, I had knit her a like a cloud cardigan. Um, and she was, I'm the smallest size and she was a couple sizes bigger and she added length. So she had more two more skeins than I needed. So that's what I got with these. This one is Breath of Fresh Air. And this is Lost in Time. There, and you got the big pink section here. And they're both on her soft rose base. I almost went with this for my, um, like a Claude cardigan. They're gorgeous. And they've been sitting in here for quite some time. Hope to get those knit up into possibly socks. What else? What else? These. And I've actually, so all of these leftovers I rescained instead of holding them in the cake because I've heard that's better for them. Um, this is some more yarn I've dyed. It's left over from my boxy cart, boxy sweater. By Hohi Locatelli. I might wear that one to work tomorrow. We'll see. This is, I think it's supposed to be warmer. Um, that's left over from that. Got 
quite a bit leftovers. Um, let's see. Here's another set of leftovers that I dyed. And all of these are from the Winter Lights cardigan from Stephen West. So I've thought about knitting something for my daughter in these three purple, the purple fade, um, because her favorite color is purple. But it's not, I don't know if I would do it as a sweater for her. I could do socks. She's growing so fast, I don't want to knit socks for her to not use them. So, or for to not be used. So we'll see. Don't think it'd be for a hat either. So they may just be socks for me or Megan, my sister. Which Paige is my other sister and she can, she likes, has liked the last pair of socks I knit her. So I can do that for her as well. What else have I dyed? This is the other color from my slipping tile shawl. It's delphinium blue. Um, while we're talking about that one, this skein I also dyed. I knit my sister Megan a pair of mermaid tail socks by Needles in Life, I think, Callie. Um, out of this um, and a contrast mini. And this is the Del delphinium blue s that um, I speckled with and I only speckled and it breaks like crazy. I mean, you can see those like pink tones in there. I know the lighting's horrible, but you can definitely see like a Kashmir. I don't think I'm going to do that.
is I knit a pair of socks out of her. I think this was her summertime collection or summertime colorway from her summer collection. And it turned out into a gorgeous pair of socks. Um, so I can use this and her, I think this was starfish. Use these two together for a pair of socks would be gorgeous. Where I also have these three. So the orange, let me put the, this one down. The orange starfish and these three faded. And that's what I used for my plumpy shawl. So you've got the dark and then you've got the middle one, which is her actual colorway ocean water. She was super kind to knit or dye me up a darker and a lighter on either side of ocean water as a fade. And then this pop of color for plumpy and it turned out really well. It's actually up there. I might be able to 